there's also then this idea of the the documentation, the templates, and what we're calling the artifacts um, that we use. So is there an account planning template? Is there a a territory planning standard a standard methodology we should be using? Um, is there a template that we should be using for gathering research? Is there a, a template that we should be using for sharing what a, 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 a our our educated research but initial point of view looks like for the customer? And how do we drive that consistency as well? So again, if I'm in India or if I'm in, in Singapore or if I'm Dublin, that I have the same way of really forming, <clears throat> excuse me, that point of view or the customer that really helps them to answer, or at least why we think, um, why change, why Salesforce, why now? That's the, the key thing is we, we kind of, we, we do that initial research. We say, here we, we see what's happening in your industry. Here's the trends and some of the external factors. We think these are your priorities in your organization based on the conversations we've had or, you know, your shareholder report or whatever has, happens to be. Um, we think you're trying to achieve these things right now. We probably see these things getting in the way. These are maybe your obstacles um, and that, that are making it difficult for you to, to achieve those priorities. Or here's some opportunities for you to leverage trends that are happening in your industry. Um, but what, what does that, what does that look like for you? So if the, those things are happening right now, um, what is the, what is the cost of, of not doing anything? If you do nothing, what's the cost of missing out? So you don't drive your revenue, you don't reduce your costs, you don't drive your, your, uh, productivity in many different ways. What happens if you don't do those things in a, in a guesstimated dollars and cents, you know, sort of shape so we can prioritize across those different things. But by the way, we think we could help you in these ways in terms of business outcomes with Salesforce. Here's what your future state might look like. If you did those things, this is what your business improvement might look like. Um, and we're having a bit of you know, an initial POV. We don't know for sure, but we think is what it might look like. Here's why we think Salesforce is the only solution that you can do that with because of our level of customization, the way we surround our customers, our ISV ecosystem, um, and the success our customers have had to date as well. And this is why we think you should do it now because there is a cost of waiting. And if you don't do something, um, you know, the rate of return obviously decreases over time. And so again, it goes back to why change, why Salesforce, why now? So that's just one example, Felix, of like one of those templates that we give our, our reps that we, we, we pull them through.